In February 2024, tensions escalated in the South China Sea as the Chinese Coast Guard engaged in confrontations with Philippine vessels. The incidents occurred near the Second Thomas Shoal, a region within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EZ, that has been a long-standing flashpoint between the two nations. The Philippine Coast Guard accused China of harassment, obstruction, and dangerous maneuvers against its vessels, which were on a mission to patrol the area, and deliver supplies to Filipino fishermen stationed on the BRP Sierra Madre, a ship grounded on the shoal to assert the Philippines' territorial claims. China, however, claimed that the Philippine vessels had intruded into Chinese waters without permission, and defended its Coast Guard's actions as lawful measures to safeguard its territorial sovereignty and maritime order. The Philippines has accused China's Coast Guard of engaging in aggressive behavior towards its vessels near the Second Thomas Shoal in the South China Sea. According to Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson Jay Tariola, on June 30, 2023 Philippine vessels were harassed and obstructed by larger Chinese Coast Guard ships while assisting in a naval operation. This incident occurred near the Second Thomas Shoal, where the Philippines maintains a claim to sovereignty by stationing troops on a grounded World War II-era American ship. China, however, claims that the Philippine vessels intruded into its waters without permission. China asserts sovereignty over nearly the entire South China Sea based on a disputed nine-dash line on its maps, which conflicts with the exclusive economic zones EZ, of neighboring countries including the Philippines. The Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled in 2016 that China's claims have no legal basis. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin stated that China's Coast Guard was conducting law enforcement activities to protect its territorial sovereignty and maintain maritime order. Despite claims from the Philippine Coast Guard that their vessels had to slow down to avoid collision, Wang insisted that China's actions were professional and restrained. The nature of the naval operation mentioned by Tariela was not specified, but the Philippine military regularly conducts resupply missions for troops stationed on the Sierra Madre, the grounded ship in the area. In a previous incident in February, the Philippine military accused China of aggression, alleging that a military-grade laser was directed at one of its vessels during a resupply mission. The second Thomas Shoal falls within the Philippines, and Tariela expressed concern about the presence of Chinese Navy ships in the area, describing it as alarming and raising greater concerns. The confrontations included instances where Chinese vessels allegedly used aggressive tactics, such as ramming and deploying water cannons against Philippine boats. The Philippine side, determined to carry out its mission, managed to breach a Chinese Coast Guard blockade to deliver provisions to the Filipino forces stationed at the shoal despite the Chinese Coast Guard's attempts to block, harass, and interfere with the supply missions. On December 10, 2023, tensions escalated in the South China Sea as a China Coast Guard vessel collided with a Philippine supply boat near Second Thomas Shoal. The incident, along with other aggressive actions by Chinese vessels over the weekend, indicates an increased willingness by China to escalate confrontations in the region. According to Philippine Coast Guard spokesman Commodore J. Tariela, the collision occurred as Philippine vessels attempted to escort a supply convoy to Second Thomas Shoal, which is claimed by both countries. The Chinese vessels, as expected, opposed the convoy's passage. The Chinese cutter CCG 5204 used its water cannon to damage one of the Philippine supply boat's engines, rendering it disabled. Another Chinese cutter, CCG 21556, allegedly rammed into another Philippine supply boat, although there are conflicting accounts of the incident from both sides. These confrontations are part of ongoing tensions over territorial claims in the South China Sea. China asserts sovereignty over the Spratly Islands, including areas within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, while the Philippines maintains its claim to the region. Previous confrontations have involved aggressive tactics by Chinese forces, including the use of water cannons, LRADs, and maneuvers to deter Philippine vessels. 
Philippine authorities emphasize that Second Thomas Shoal falls within their exclusive economic zone and reject Chinese claims of sovereignty. They argue that China's actions undermine efforts for peaceful dialogue and stability in the region. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague ruled against Chinese claims of sovereignty over Philippine waters in 2016. The incident at Second Thomas Shoal was one of three confrontations between Philippine and Chinese vessels over the weekend. On Saturday, Philippine civilian boats encountered opposition from the China Coast Guard while supporting fishermen at Scarborough Shoal. Additionally, a civilian convoy organized by the activist group Atin Ito planned to visit Philippine outposts in the Spratly Islands but decided to turn back due to constant monitoring by Chinese vessels. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. condemned the actions of the China Coast Guard, asserting that Scarborough Shoal is Philippine territory, and accusing China of violating international law. Despite efforts to discourage civilian convoys from entering the disputed areas, tensions persist in the South China Sea as both countries assert their territorial claims. These incidents have drawn international attention, with the United States expressing support for the Philippines and urging China to cease its provocative and unsafe conduct in the disputed waters. The U.S. State Department emphasized the importance of upholding the rules-based international maritime order and reiterated its commitment to standing with its Philippine allies. The confrontations underscore the ongoing territorial disputes in the South China Sea involving China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, and Brunei, which have the potential to escalate into a broader regional security crisis. In a statement on April 29, 2023, the United States called on China to cease its harassment of Philippine vessels in the South China Sea, reaffirming support for the Philippines after another maritime confrontation. The incident involved aggressive tactics by China's Coast Guard near the Philippines held Second Thomas Shoal, a contentious area. China responded by stating its willingness to resolve maritime disputes through friendly discussions and cautioned the U.S. against interference in regional matters. The Second Thomas Shoal, housing a small Philippine military presence on a grounded World War II-era U.S. ship, has been a focal point for territorial disputes. China's expansive claims in the South China Sea have been refuted by an international arbitral ruling in 2016. Despite China asserting sovereignty over the area, the U.S. State Department emphasized its solidarity with the Philippines in upholding the rules-based international maritime order. This situation in the South China Sea highlights the complex geopolitical tensions in the region and the challenges of navigating disputes over sovereignty and maritime rights in accordance with international law. The 2016 arbitration ruling under the 1982 UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, which invalidated Beijing's expansive claims over the South China Sea, has not resolved the disputes, as China continues to reject the ruling and assert its claims. Two Philippine supply vessels managed to breach a Chinese Coast Guard blockade near the disputed Second Thomas Shoal in the South China Sea. The boats, accompanied by Philippine Coast Guard ships, successfully delivered provisions to Filipino forces stationed there, despite attempts by Chinese vessels to block their mission. The Second Thomas Shoal is contested territory claimed by both the Philippines and China. The Philippines maintains a presence there aboard the BRP Sierra Madre, a grounded warship, which China seeks to prevent from being reinforced. The latest confrontation underscores the ongoing tensions in the region, with territorial disputes involving multiple nations. China has condemned the Philippine vessel's actions as illegal and has warned against any attempts to reinforce the Sierra Madre. This incident follows a similar confrontation in August, 2023, during which a Chinese Coast Guard ship used a water cannon against Philippine vessels. The United States has reiterated its commitment to defend the Philippines under their Mutual Defense Treaty, raising concerns about the potential for escalation in the region. The dispute in the South China Sea has become a focal point in the broader rivalry between the US and China. The Philippine government has expressed readiness to respond to potential emergencies in the disputed waters, acknowledging the risks posed by China's assertive actions. 
this latest incident highlights the ongoing challenges in the region, despite international efforts to resolve the disputes through arbitration.